there are probably, uh, let's say there's a hundred verses about salvation in the Bible. Only a few, like only two of them have baptism included with that. Mark 16, you know, uh, repent and be baptized. And then, but they'll say that is for the remission of sins. If baptism was indeed part of salvation, if it was, it would have to be mentioned in every single verse where salvation is mentioned. Yeah, there's the guy on the cross. Was never right, the guy on the cross couldn't get baptized, but, you know, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. Doesn't mention baptism. So there's probably a hundred verses that do mention salvation that do not mention baptism. So just from a strictly logical perspective, baptism cannot be part of salvation. Baptism is like putting on a wedding ring. It doesn't make you married. It shows people you're married. That's all it does. And if a, if a non-married person puts a wedding ring on their third finger, that doesn't make them married. It's nothing but a public symbol. That's all it is. And so baptism is not part of salvation. Cannot be. If it is, then your salvation is dependent on you. This is what Cain did. Cain brought his fruit, vegetables, and seeds. God, look what I did for you. God wouldn't take it. Abel brought a lamb. If without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. The only way to be saved is to accept what Jesus did on the cross. Mm -hmm. Now, after you get saved, you should get baptized sure. to show the rest of the world you're not ashamed. And it's a public picture, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So there's a lot of good things about baptism, but it's not part of salvation. And I'm a Baptist. Yeah, okay? That's right. That's right. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Cornelius and his household got baptized. It's true. After they got saved, they got baptized. But in Acts, uh, Acts uh, 830, 8, uh, 837, the eunuch, they came to the water, and the eunuch said, hey, here's water, can I get baptized? And Paul said, if you believe, or Philip said, if you believe. First you become a believer, that makes you saved. Then you get baptized to show the rest of the world, hey, I've been saved now. That's all it is. Don't put any more significance to it than that.